Hello, welcome to the only museum that interprets million dollar paintings to relate to high school appropriate novels with no significant legitimacy. Today we will be observing the complexity of the narrator from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, also known as Chief Bromden. Okay, now let me direct you to a relevant visual analysis. Here we have Wheat Filled with Crows by Vincent van Gogh. Although the following interpretation is a self-made abstract observation, I'm sure Mr. Van Gogh would not mind because respectfully, he is dead. How does this relate to Bromden? Oh, I didn't expect questions this early on. Please follow along and reserve all your questions. As you can observe, the path that appears on the left of the painting starts out quite narrow, leaving no clues to the true beginning of the path. As readers meet Bromden, he reveals little from his past and the reasons for his delusions. The path begins to split into half, symbolizing a change, but the abrupt stop of the path that leads to the horizon is cut off. Similar to Bromden's transition, Bromden experiences growth and change, but has yet to finish his character transformation. The dirt path, although is known to be unreliable to walk on, it is cleared from any roadblocks and is not shrewd by the field of yellow. The timid and afraid Chief Bromden slowly starts to assert his individuality and self-choices rather than to comply to others. Okay, now let's move on before you ask me any more questions. This is Surprise by Henry Rousseau. How would the tiger represent the fearful chief though? <sighs> the tiger does not represent Bromden, rather it symbolizes Nurse Ratchet. Although the tiger is in a stance that foreshadows the beast pouncing on its prey, the tiger exerts a fearful expression. The tiger is exposed and against any odds, nature is working against the tiger. The correlation of the image with one flew over the cuckoo's nest shows the shift in power. The proportional ratio of the tiger in the jungle shows Bromden has regained its full size. The dark shaded trees represent Bromden's visible weaknesses and fears, but Bromden rises above his fear rather than shields from it. The bright colored leaves sprouting from the weak branches show a new beginning without covering up the flawed past. Although the prey of the tiger is unknown in his painting, observers can sense the tiger is being watched rather than being a force to be feared of. The story ends with a complete shift in power and Chief Bromden claims his place in society once again without the vulnerability of his fear. It has now come to the end of this tour. I would like to remind you that the museum reserves all rights to the lecture given today. Please do not plagiarize for your irrelevant assignments in hope of graduating. Your lack of creativity has already deemed you to be unsuccessful. Thank you. Close, hold you close till you can breathe on your